One way automakers squeeze more horsepower and torque from an engine is by adding variable valve timing, or VVT, to the valve train. A conventional camshaft has a fixed valve lift, duration, and timing, so the grind is a compromise between fuel economy and emissions. A variable valve timing system can change the timing of the camshaft by up to 30 degrees. It is like having multiple camshaft grinds in one camshaft. A VVT system uses phasers or actuators on the camshafts. The oil control valves or solenoids adjust the position of the phasers by using computer controlled pulse width modulation. The phaser has two main parts. The stator is connected to the timing chain and the rotor which is connected to the camshaft. These two components together create oil chambers that allow for an adjustable range of motion. The chambers are charged and discharged utilizing oil ports fed by the oil control valve. The sealing dynamic between the stator and the rotor chambers is determined by the vane design. The oil control valve will send oil to either side of the chamber effectively advancing or retarding the camshaft timing. On high mileage vehicles, the vanes can fail to seal the chambers, causing internal crossflow. When this starts to happen, the camshaft can't accurately be controlled resulting in decreased performance and fuel economy, check engine lights, or even the development of a rattle. Higher mileage engines can also have oil pressure issues, making the problem even worse. Some OE designs use metal vanes held in place with springs. The springs help seal the vanes, but the vanes can wear and the springs can fatigue, causing an internal leak. Other OE phaser designs use spring-actuated nylon vein seals to improve the durability, but the nylon seals can also wear. As an aftermarket solution in problematic applications, Ploys utilizes a frictionless vein design. This uniquely designed actuator is superior to the OE and competitive aftermarket product. It performs better under low oil pressure conditions by eliminating contact between rotor and stator, resulting in 10% more torque and 20% less internal drag. When replacing a camshaft phaser, it is critical to address the entire timing system. A phaser failure is typically related to wear and the condition of the engine oil. If the phaser has suffered from poor quality oil, chances are the chain, guides, and the sprockets have also suffered under the same conditions. So, just replacing the phasers might cure a code or rattle for now, but they could be back with another timing system complaint or failure. For more information on variable valve timing, you can visit cloys.com. I'm Cody Smith. Thank you for watching.